This is my two liter in the dune buggy now and I don't like this location of the oil filter. That's kind of funny looking isn't it? Cutters at both sides. I guess it can't make up its mind. Here I'm just making a pilot hole with a fancy tool. Now we've got this uh, tool that's going to cut the edge of the case to clearance it for a brass fitting that will eventually screw in there. You do not need oil for some machine tasks on these old factory alloy cases. That was one of the benefits of making the case out of this material back in the day. Cut some machines real well without really Take your time. Here I'm just taking a punch and prying the aluminum plug that was pressed in from the factory. We don't need that anymore. Thirty-seven sixty fourths high speed drill, which is the proper hole size for a 3 8 pipe tap. I have another video up that uh, shows me actually using a uh, wrench and holding this by hand and cutting it in while the engine is completely assembled. But in this case, since I've got it all apart, it's a lot easier to do it at this stage and clean out all those filings. You really got to get every single speck of that material out of there when you're done. Hand tapping it. Again, you don't need oil. Just take it easy. Try to make it straight. Get it started. There we go. You back it off to break the little chips. Probably not totally necessary. It doesn't feel like it got tight, but it's a good practice for any type of thread work. It is a tapered thread, so you want to make sure that you don't go too deep. There's an oil passage that you're coming real close to, the one from the pump. So you want to check it. You've got to get it deep enough for the threads to catch. And usually I would have the fitting there. But I've done this enough times where I know pretty much where I need to be. And at the end I'll just be putting a plug in it anyhow. Making it a little deeper. Take your time. Check it as you go. You only get one chance. You don't want to screw it up. There's that side passage. When you look down there, you can see the threads are nice and clean and sharp. This is directly off the oil pump passage. That's the outlet from your stock oil pump. And then it goes down into your oil galley. Thought I'd you really put a little, have to wash uh, that out. Music to this full flow mod modification to the stock case. I don't think it needs too much explanation. I had posted a full flow a long time ago, a couple years back, and did it in a much less refined manner. But I'm not really even going to full flow this thing. I'm using a different. Uh, oil pump and filter because it's going to work better on my Baja and my dune buggy 
which is what this engine's for. Can't wait to uh, get some parts and get her done. So I hope this helps somebody. Actually, what it is, it's part of a tool set. Let's see if I can. This goes in a valve guide. And this is how you cut and remove bosses, valve guides. First you take the, the short end and you trim it down to get the top of the brass valve guide. You go right down to the head material. Just touch it. You don't go very deep at all. And then you take a core drill, which is a step drill. I think it's over in the drawer. And then you go through the guide most of the way through. Then you have a drift that goes down there and after you've relieved the tension you punch it through. And they have several oversized types of guides um, to replace the factory ones if you have a problem. But uh, I don't have much of the valve work equipment. This is something I've had for years and I primarily bought it so I could add double springs because if you flip it over put the other side in the drill and you drill it down then you cut the metal away and you have room to put double springs on there so just thought I'd show you that and last night I was laying in bed thinking about the list of things I still have to do on the new engine case and one of them that I wanted to get done while I had it all apart was to remove the plug and drill and tap it for a full flow system in case I needed one at a later date. I'm not going to be using one in the beginning because I have a different setup that you'll see later but I wanted to post a full flow uh, modification if you will video to show people how you can do it yourself. Now you don't need this tool and I have another video that gets a lot of views of how I did this by hand but I I thought of this tool and I thought about putting it in a good valve guide and drop it in, down in the oil galley but as it turned out I didn't need to. I was able to just put the shank in that aluminum plug go real slow with that on my drill press and I never would have thought that would have worked in a hundred years but I uh, filmed it anyhow and as it turned out it worked really slick so I thought I'd share that with you thanks for watching thanks for subbing easy jeezy out